This video is a practical introduction on selecting the right fonts and colors and how to combine them so that you can make aesthetic designs like this. The first thing to understand is the psychology and symbolism of color. What's the difference? Symbolism is the conscious relationships we have with colors. Like the West uses black for morning, but the East uses white. On the other hand, color psychology is the unconscious feeling that a color invokes in us. Like green invokes health or growth, while blue invokes a sense of trust and red invokes strong emotion like love or war. So you need to pick colors that have the right psychological and symbological effect on your audience. This is a great free ebook that goes into more details and I'll link it in the description below. Next, we will steal a color framework from interior designers. It's called the 60, 30, 10 formula to make your color palette. Here's how it works. Pick three colors for your design that you'll use in these ratios. 60% is the base color, i.e. your backgrounds, for which a neutral color is best. 30% is your primary color for text and information. And 10% is the accent color you want to use to draw their attention, like a call to action button or links. Now, to get the type of palette for yourself, you should use a tool called Adobe Colors. In it, you have this color wheel and you can move these circles inside it to pick a color. This drop down menu on the top left lets you choose what kind of color you are looking for. So let's pick complementary for now. As I move one of these circles and pick a color, the others move to pick complementary colors that work with. Down here, we can see these boxes with the selected colors and keep just three. So we can use them for our 60, 30, 10 ratio. Here are more options to customize colors. Now, if you already have a logo or a brand color, you can switch to the extract theme tab and upload your image like this. Then you can use the color pickers to make your palette. And then these options here on the left to pick bright, muted, deep or dark colors from the image. You should also look at some good palette references and I'll link them in the description below. Now let's talk about fonts. Each type of font has its own personality. The font you choose needs to match the brand you're trying to communicate to your audience. So if your crypto site doesn't have this font and has Comic Sans instead, it looks horrible, right? There's over 200,000 fonts out there, but there's 25 tried and tested fonts that most designers use. And I've linked this article below for you to check out. You should pick two complementary fonts for your site and use different font weights to bring contrast to your site. If you don't know which fonts would work together well, I'll link this great blog in the description that shows 30 grain font pairs as example posters like this. So you can select the type of brand you want. Okay, let's see some font combinations in action. You can install a Google Chrome extension like this so you can find out the fonts being used on a website. And this extension to easily find out the exact color code so you can use that. The Verges site here has done it differently. The main featured article has this Sans Sheriff Manaka font and it's the only one. After that, all the headings are another Sans Sheriff font called Polysans. But the articles are all in a formal Sheriff font called FK Roman, which was inspired by Times New Roman. This makes the overall brand less old school and more modern, especially in combination with the colors. Next, I'd recommend using Google fonts because on their page here, is a sidebar to the left where I can put in a statement and even filter the fonts below that. On the right is the viewing window where I can see each typeface. I'll type in a statement here and use this slider to reduce the size. Down here, I can choose the stroke i.e. serif or sans serif. You can click get font here to download it. All right, before we go ahead, if you're serious about having a nicely designed website, there's one thing I'm sure you're not thinking about. but it's super important. No matter how good the design is, it doesn't matter if your user can't experience it because they're stuck behind a loading screen. Even simple one-page sites made by beginners actually have a very low page speed score. It's just the nature of using tools like WordPress, Elementor, and all that. So make sure that you always first install a free speed plugin called Airlift. You can just add your site URL to it, install it, and it automatically makes your site super fast and you'll see a 90 plus page speed score, which means that your users will now be able to properly experience your website. Next, let's see how we can combine fonts, colors to make aesthetic designs that showcase a brand effectively. First, let's find something chic and minimal. Take Calvin Klein here, one of the most iconic brands. Now let's find the font here, which is called Avant Garde. It's fashionable and futuristic. 
The colors are gray, white and black but they use color in these sections here to bring contrast and highlight the actionable parts of their site. Another example is Vice. Their black and white theme is established in their logo and they've managed to keep it up on their website here. The first section uses black as the 60% base with 30% white text for contrast and 10% of this neutral grey accent colour for the CTAs when you hover over the text. But if you scroll down, they've inverted it. Clearly, you aren't limited to the same scheme for every page and its individual section. Feel free to play around with it. You can also see how they've used this sans serif for all their content. Quick fact, it's literally called Wise Sans since they developed it. For more help on how to combine fonts and colours, you can check this out which I'll link below. Click this video if you want to triple your size speed in just one minute. You're really gonna thank me for this. So click here and I'll see you there.